Hey guys, Tactical Toby here. I got a good little episode for you. It's not going to be very long. I'm going to try to keep it around eight minutes. Uh, may actually be shorter than that. I actually wanted to do some unboxing for you. I wanted to show you guys some really, really cool stuff while I got the chance. So I'm going to show you what I got today. You know, tax day. I got my, you know, got my income tax refund, and I pay in like crazy. So, you know, it's like a grown man's Christmas. So, without further ado, let's get going. First off. I got the Uncle Mike's. It's a universal holster. It clips right onto your belt. Perfect for concealed carry. It's got an extra magazine pouch. It's really cool, but I got it for one reason. I got something that I had to sell a few years ago back, and God, man, I am glad to have it back. That is my Beretta PX4 Storm 9mm. I love this firearm. 17 round magazines. It comes with two interchangeable back straps, you know, single action, double action, just like Beretta makes. And this thing is actually the descendant of the Beretta Cougar. And the Beretta Cougar was made from an all steel frame or from an all alloy frame, while this one's made from a polymer frame to be more lightweight. And this is what the government wanted. And then they canceled their contract. So we civilians get it. I mean, tack rail built on. It's also got a rotating barrel. I love this gun and in an upcoming episode, I don't know, maybe a week or two from now, I'm going to take this thing out and I'm going to shoot it along with my brand new gun I got from Academy today. And you guys hold on to your butts because when I show you this thing, you're going to be like, oh baby, I want one of those. I promise you. Anyways, um, I don't know if you can tell, brand new camera, 1080p high def. I got the deal of a century on this thing. I freaking love this thing. I mean, I can't talk anymore about it. But um, also, I went ahead and got this because this was on sale for $5 at Academy, people. $5. It's a Hops Rifle and Shotgun Cleaning Kit. And you'll see why I got this pretty soon. I have a Universal, but mm, I kind of lost parts here and there. I've had it since I was about 16 years old. And you know how you are when you're a child. You just use shit up and you don't care what happens to it. And man, I'm telling you. If you're a kid and you're listening to this, don't do that. Hold on to everything you're given because in the future, you're going to wish like hell you had it. Trust me. I wish to this day I still had that Mossberg 12-gauge pump action my granddaddy gave me. And now he's dead and, you know, you mourn, you lose. Anyways, let's move on. Um, carabiners, people. Carabiners. I recommend having dozens of those. And I'm just showing you one package, but I got about 13 of these things. Carabiners are awesome, awesome, awesome things. I use them on my Molly kit, and you'll see, because I'm going to build a bug out bag in the later episodes. You guys are going to love it. And anyway, so, you know, that's Carabiner. Let's, I'm actually going to unbox this for you guys. I wanted to show y'all. This is the, Ger the Gerber Tactical. You know, it's a pocket knife, and if you've seen my pocket knife, which is bam, right there, this is the Gerber Pocket Tanto. And it's a great knife. It's like I said, it was bulletproof. This thing is amazing, amazing, amazing. I love it, but it's getting old. And you know how old crap gets. So I'm gonna use my kind of wobbly Gerber Pocket Tanto to slice open the package here. And you know, we're gonna actually unbox this knife and see what happens, you know? You never know, guys. This is probably gonna be an awesome knife. And Holy crap, it already feels awesome. It's stiff, so it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but man, that thing's pretty flat. I'm gonna have to work it out a little bit. You know, it's, it doesn't flip out like my other one, but look at that, guys. Perfect handle. By the way, when you grip a knife, no. No. Military style. Stab, slash, you know, jab. This is... This is a good knife, man. It feels great in my pocket. It's got a clip and it feels sturdy. It's all, no plastic on this thing. This is all metal. It's called the Gerber Tactical. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it for, you know, a good month and I'm gonna see what happens, you know? See, you know, just how good of a quality knife it is. You know, I'm gonna compare it to my Tactical Tanto that Gerber makes and so far I'm a big fan of Gerber, guys. Anyways, let's move on. Oh yeah, yes, 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 I forgot about this. 15 round Beretta 92F magazine. It's made by Pro Mag. I'm going on like 16 magazines for my Beretta 92s, guys. 
You know how big of a fan, how big of a Beretta 92 fan I am, you know. I love, I want it, I'm gonna get the MA1 pretty soon. It's the one that has the tack rail and the debuffer coil. It's, it's real sweet, but you know, it's a $700 gun, so Tactical Toby's gotta save up, especially how much, after how much I spent today. Um, cleaning patches, you know, normal stuff. But I'm gonna try this out, guys, and I'm gonna take some pictures and show y'all, because I've got a really gunked up gun. It's a, it's a, um, God, you know, I don't even know what it is. I think it's a Remington Winchester 300 Mag, actually. Or a Remington model, yeah, but it's a Winchester 300 Magnum. It's a gun that was given to, uh, that was my grandfather's, given to my uncle, given to my dad, passed on to me, because they're all kind of pussies and they can't handle the recoil of a 300 Magnum. Shout out to my dad and my uncle and my granddad. Hey, get buff, you know. But I'm gonna try this out on it. It's called Foaming Bore Cleaner. I've never tried this stuff before and they say it's really good. So let's see how good this, this stuff really is in future episodes. I'll, I'll, I'll take some pictures and show you guys. And I think the, um, one of the last things, oh no, more carabiners. Um, let's see, uh, that's my phone going off, but Forget that, we're not gonna grab that. What I am gonna grab though, and I know you can't see me, but that's because I'm pulling it out of my case right now. Wow, that thing's just gonna go off all day. Is this. Can you see the close up on it? All those skulls, yes. Weatherby pump action 12 gauge shotgun. It's got fiber optic tact uh, sights on it with tactical rail. And these back rails, act this back sight actually detaches so you can put a red dot on there. Pistol grip, pump action, 12 gauge shotgun. Guys, awesome, awesome deal. I got this thing for $300 at Academy. I'm telling you, Academy really knows how to treat a man, so. <laughs> You know, I think that's it. That's all That's all that I got today, except for one thing. I did want to show you guys this, and in a, you know, a grid down situation, this is really good to have. And actually, I have a, um, a solar recharger that I'm gonna show you guys in later episodes, so you can keep this thing going all the time, but morale is a good thing. Morale, morale, morale. And this little thing right there is the brand new 16 gigabyte generation six iPod Nano. I love this thing. I bought it today for a dollar and change. Uh, it's to replace my fifth generation and I couldn't be happier with it. You know, I've been playing around with it. It's kind of small, but they got they actually make like a wristwatch that so goes around it and you clip on and it's gonna be really cool, guys. Um, tactical tip of the day. I'm just gonna throw one out there really quick for you all to remember and kind of, you know, you know, take with you and take it with a grain of salt, whatever. But um, Keep your stuff well maintained. You know, I just had to do a lot of maintenance on my car today and it cost me three to five hundred dollars. I don't know yet, but always keep your car well maintained, keep your gear well maintained, because you never know when you're gonna have to use it and you don't want to get out in the field and have it crap out on you. Like I said, you take good care of your stuff, it'll last. Anyways, that's my tactical tip of the day. I know it's not something spectacular, you know, like stuffing your shirt with newspaper to keep warm and stuff like that, but it is something vital that I have not been passing on lately. Oh, I wanted also to address something else. I've caught a lot of complaints and I have written it down. I, I know that the Mini 14s did not come in a 308. I said 308, that's because I was actually earlier that day looking to see if you could buy a conversion kit for a 308 you know, make like a little mini M1A1. And unfortunately, I don't trust the companies that say they can do it. However, you can get the Mini 14 in a 6.8. So keep that in mind. And that's actually what I was thinking about, but I said 308 because I was working with, you know, trying to find a conversion, you know, somebody who can convert it or a kit or something. Anyways, guys, that's it for Tactical Toby. Signing out. Take it easy, guys. Hope you like my new camera.